Lee Riera Brands Hatch for round eight of the MC Insurance British Superbike Championship and the Swan Combi 50 roll for pole. A little bit of an early start because we have got a small matter of a triple header here this weekend, so it's all important to get out there and set this grid for the first race. A little bit tricky for the riders out there because we have had some rain this morning and the last super stock session was out there was reporting a little bit of damp patches still around the track, so the riders are going to have to work it out to try and make sure that they qualify into the next stage, so it's going to be interesting. Let's see how they get on. So the first part of the Swan Combi 50 roll for pole goes away with Yuchi Kianari aboard the HM Plant Honda. One or two damp conditions out there, one or two damp patches around the track that riders are just having to just take it a little bit uh, careful out there. But that's the first part, no major surprises as we would expect in that first one. All the top 20 riders that we expected to go through. Now it's on to Q2 and see who can do what in this particular section. second part of the Swan Combi Rolf Pole sees Michael Rutter fastest with a one lap wonder aboard the Riders Ducati and as he said we just had a chat to him he said he's just going to try and get out there and put it on the front row of the grid which is all what's all about for this second part of the equation the top 10 riders they go into this final part they will set the grid for the first race only this afternoon but uh, whether or not it's Rutter whether or not the HM Plant Hondas can get in there whether or not the works present Suzuki can do something about it as well or the Swan Honda of James Ellison it will be seen in due course keep an eye on the two Wildcat as well Tom Sachs and Ian Lowry and also the relentless Taz Suzuki of Alistair Seeley and Michael Laverty it's all about to kick off for the final eight minutes of this final qualifier for the Swan Combi roll for pole here at round eight Brands Hatch We, uh, we have struggled all weekend, as soon as I got out in the first session yesterday, I just, it, was, it wasn't something right with a bike, and uh, plugged away and um, chipped away the teams, you know, have been here, there and everywhere with the just to try and get me happy on the bike, you know, I know how the bike feels, you don't lose it overnight, you know, we're leading the championship, and um, I've come in, the bike just feels completely different, so we've tried to sort of go back to the base setting that we know, and um, yeah, we, we know that works, so we just got to keep plugging away and... Um, yeah, qualifying's gone really good. I mean, uh, we were a little bit off the pace um, at the end of free practice, but Tommy had a real good warm-up this morning, was fastest in uh, free practice three, and we went into qualifying, and um, he gradually went quicker and quicker all the way through. Uh, the Works Present Suzuki team made you know, quite a few little changes through those um, qualifying sessions, and in the end, he's on the front row of the grid, so that's where we want to be. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a good start tomorrow. <laughs> 